Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're flying Qatar Airways economy from Doha to Cape Town. We'll be trying their special meal options, Hindu and vegan. Are these meals worth choosing, or is the regular menu the better option? Let's find out if the world's best economy class really lives up to the hype. As you arrive at Doha Airport, you'll notice there are two entrances, one for premium class and one for economy. Hopefully, we'll get to review that business class experience sometime soon. But today, let's dive into the economy class journey and see what it has to offer. Doha Airport is one of my favorite airports, second only to Singapore. As you enter, you're greeted by an enormous yellow teddy bear lounging under a giant lamp, an iconic sculpture here. It was actually created by Swiss artist Urs Fischer and was bought by a member of the Qatari royal family. The bear brings a playful touch to the airport's sleek design, making it memorable and unique for travelers. Doha Airport is massive, with huge open corridors leading right to the jet bridge. The boarding process was smooth and organized, and before we knew it, we were on board and ready for the journey ahead. Here's a quick peek at the business class as we head to our seat. This flight doesn't have Q suites, but the business class layout still looks comfortable, even if it's not quite as private. We chose the first row of economy, which has just two seats, perfect for traveling with family. No need to share an armrest with a stranger here. Let's take a quick look around the seat as we get settled in. We pulled back right on time, and everything is running smoothly as we taxi to the runway. With the engines powering up, we're now ready for takeoff and on our way to Cape Town. The takeoff was smooth, and we said goodbye to the brightly lit city of Doha below. If you ever have a layover of at least six hours, I highly recommend taking a transit tour of the city. It's a great way to get a quick taste of Doha, even if you don't have much time to explore. The Oryx One entertainment system on Qatar Airways really stands out in the cabin. With over 4,000 options, there's no shortage of movies, TV shows, music, and games to choose from. The large, high-resolution screens offer a sharp, vibrant display, making movie watching or gaming a pleasure. Navigating through the system is straightforward thanks to the intuitive interface, and I found the built-in controller easy to use. 
Whether you're in the mood for a blockbuster film or just some relaxing music, Oryx One delivers a seamless entertainment experience that certainly helps pass the time. Please like, share, and subscribe the channel for more content. Dinner was served shortly after takeoff, and I decided to go with the Hindu meal option, which is a non-vegetarian Indian selection. The meal included a salad, the main course, dessert, and bread. The bread, unfortunately, didn't impress me much. It lacked flavor. On the other hand, the salad was decent, while the dessert was just okay, nothing to write home about. The main course, however, was a pleasant surprise. It consisted of rice, dal, and chicken curry. The curry had a nice depth of flavor and was packed with surprisingly rich Indian spices, giving it an authentic touch that I didn't expect from an in-flight meal. Overall, while the bread and dessert didn't stand out, the main course certainly made up for it with its bold and flavorful taste. My wife tried the vegan meal and that left a lot to be desired. While I appreciate the effort to cater to different dietary needs, the actual meal was underwhelming. The main course lacked variety, with a somewhat repetitive flavor profile that leaned heavily on tomato-based dishes. The noodles were bland. The sides, like salad and fruit, were fresh, but overall the meal didn't feel as satisfying as I'd hoped for a long-haul flight. Alright, here's a quick look at the restroom in Qatar Airways Economy Class. It's a pretty standard design, but it's kept clean and functional. You've got your basics, soap, lotion, even a light fragrance sometimes. They actually do a good job keeping it stocked and fresh during the flight, which is definitely appreciated on a longer route like this one, and I'd say it's roomy enough to move around without feeling too cramped, which is a nice touch for economy class. A snack was served before landing, and I went with the Hindu meal option again. The taste was definitely on point, full of rich flavors and spices that I appreciated. However, the presentation left a lot to be desired. The meal was a bit messy to eat, and it wasn't as neatly arranged as I would have liked, which made it harder to enjoy without making a bit of a mess. While the taste was great, a cleaner presentation could have made the whole experience better. My wife went with the vegan option again, and this time it came with tofu and some other ingredients that we honestly couldn't identify. It definitely fell short of our expectations, but maybe that's because we're not true vegans. I imagine people who are more accustomed to vegan meals might appreciate it more, but for us, it just didn't hit the mark. My recommendation? Unless you're a dedicated vegan, I'd say skip it. As we wrap up the flight, here's a quick recap of my experience with Qatar Airways economy class on this Doha to Cape Town journey. From the moment we boarded, the service was attentive, and the seat was surprisingly comfortable for long-haul travel. The entertainment system, with its wide selection of movies, TV shows, and music, helped pass the time effortlessly. The meals were a mixed bag. The Hindu meal was flavorful, though a bit messy in presentation, while the vegan option didn't quite meet expectations, especially for those not strictly vegan. Overall, Qatar Airways offers a solid economy class product with excellent service and comfort. The food could use a bit of refinement, especially for special meal options, but the overall experience was good. I definitely recommend this airline if you're flying long haul, especially if you're looking for great in-flight entertainment and solid customer service.